In this video, we are going to solve this question. This is the figure. Now, the question says, a student stands at the edge of a cliff and throws a stone horizontally over the edge with a speed of 18.0 meter per second. The cliff is 50.0 meter per second above the flat horizontal beach as shown in the figure. This is the figure. This is the student. And this is the stone that he throws horizontally. And here is the beach, which is down. And this is the height, which is 50.0 meters. Now, 50.0 meters above the flat. This is the flat, which is 50 meters. The distance is 50 meters horizontally above the beach. What are the coordinates of the initial position of the stone? This is the first question, which is A. Second question says, what are the components of the initial velocity? And C is saying that, we'll write the equations for the X and Y components of the velocity of the stone with time using the coordinates in the figure. We will use this coordinate, the coordinates in this figure. How long after being released does the stone strike the beach below the cliff? And E is saying what, with what speed and angle of impact does the stone land? We'll now start with A. They say what are the coordinates of the initial position of the stone? To find the coordinates of the initial position of the stone, we'll look at this uh, diagram. The initial position will begin with from here. This is where the stone is thrown. Therefore, it is starting from here, which is 50 along this here. Remember, they say, what are the coordinates? We know that coordinates, are, we have these coordinates, x and y, which is equal to, for x, the coordinate for x here is, we are going to say that the coordinate for x, which is, along the horizontal line the initial speed of x along horizontal line is zero because it is along the horizontal line is zero while the initial position for y which is the vertical line now the y now is 50 meters therefore you can see that the initial position from here to here is 50 meters therefore we have 0 50 meters now this is a we have solved a now we move to b to find b we will say that what we'll look at the question again what are the components of the initial velocity what are the components of the initial velocity to look at find the initial components of the initial velocity we will now have b naught of x is equal to and b naught of y is equal to the b naught of x is the component of uh is the component what are the component is the components of the initial velocity along uh, x direction while the uh, component of the uh of uh, the component of the uh, initial velocity along y therefore along x the component of uh, the uh, initial velocity along x is here from this diagram you can see we have 18.0 meter per second therefore we write 18.0 meter per second while the component of velocity along y direction along y direction component of initial velocity here along y direction which is here the component of initial velocity is equal to zero now we move to c c now to find c we say write the equations for the x and y components of the velocity of the stone with time using the coordinates in the figure using the code sorry write the equations of the x and y components of the velocity of the stone with time using the coordinates in the figure this is our figure so what are we going to do 
we now say that uh, the components of dx of t is equals to we use this formula now is equals to d naught of x uh, plus g of t which is equals to in this case d naught of x is 18.0 meter per second plus g of t in this case if you look at this diagram along b of x along x direction g is equal to zero therefore we have zero times t therefore this is going to give us 18.0 meter per second which is b x of t we also have to look for which is b x of t here we also have to look for b y of t is equals to b naught of y plus g of t and this is going to be v naught of y here the b naught of y if you look at it here is zero therefore if we have zero v naught of y here is zero therefore write zero plus g is the gravitational acceleration and the gravitational acceleration here is 9.8 9.8 meter per second squared times our t what is our t here because we now have a t we don't know our t yet therefore we we'll just write t therefore once we can now say that b y of t is equals to zero here therefore we have 9.8 t meter per second squared but this is not going to be meter per second squared because we have second here therefore second times second will cancel one second times we have meter per second times second square therefore it will cancel one of these therefore we are going to have meter per second which is the uh, formula equation formula for uh, this is a unit for the speed now we move to d to find d we will now say that we use the kinematic equation which says that y of t but let me read the question again it says how long after being released does the stone strike the beach below the cliff? So what we are going to do here is to say that the y of t, y of t is equal to uh, y naught plus b naught of y times t plus half g t squared. And this is going to give us y of t here is going to be zero we're going to have y of t is equals to zero y not here is the distance which is h which is zero fifty point zero meters therefore this is going to be 50 plus b not of y is already zero here therefore we have zero times t plus half g t squared in this case our g is going to be negative because this is deceleration therefore we are going to have zero is equals to 50 plus half minus 9.8 times t squared times t squared and this is going to give us 50 0 is equals to 50 minus times plus will give us minus here 9.8 divided by 2 will give us a uh, 4.9 t squared and this when we collect like terms this is going to give us 
9t square is equal to 50. Therefore, dividing both sides by 4.9, 4.9. Four point nine. This will cancel this, and we we'll end up having we we'll end up having t square is equals to fifty divided by four point nine will give us ten point two. Therefore, let me change it. Therefore, we are going to have t square is equals to 10.2 square both sides this will cancel this therefore we have t is equals to square root of 10.2 therefore t is equals to square root of 10.2 will give us 3.19 seconds therefore this is the final answer for uh, for the time which is the how long after being released does the stone strike the beach below the cliff now we we'll move to e for e with speed with what speed and angle of impact does the stone land now the first thing we need to remember is that okay sorry before we move to okay yeah with what speed and angle of impact does this stone land first of all we need to know our b of x or we need to remember sorry that our b of x is equals to 18.0 meter per second while in the case of b of y we're going to have gt which is equals to 9.8 times t T here is 3.19 seconds. Therefore, we are going to have 3.19, which is going to be, uh, when you, we use our calculator, it is going to give you 31.26 meter per second. Therefore, this is what we have. Now, from here, we now, to find B, which is with what speed? Therefore, V is equal to square root of b of x squared plus b of y squared and b is equals to square root of b of x squared here b of x is 18.0 squared plus b of y is 31.26 squared and v here is going to give us square root of all this when you squared or when you square all this the final answer of this is going to give us when we use calculators it's going to give us 36.06 .06 meter per second therefore we can finally say that b is equals to 36.06 meter per second now we move to uh f now sorry is the same sorry is the same they say angle of impact the angle of impact which is theta to find angle of theta we use the formula then theta is equals to uh, b of y over b of x and this is going to give us b of y here is 31 point this is b of y that 1.26 all over b of x which is 18 points therefore we'll write 18 point zero zero and when we do this we're going to have 1.74 therefore this is going to be tan theta is equal to 1.74 therefore now we take inverse of this tan here tan here this cancel this therefore we are going to have theta is equal to using loss of indices one over tan 
4 and this is the same thing as tan inverse 1.74 therefore this is going to give us tan inverse of 1.74 is going to give us 60.4 degrees which is our theta therefore this is our angle of impact